Hey Gemini's, Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for June 1st to the 2nd of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Gemini. Next 48 hours, whoa. Next 48 hours for Gemini, June 1st to the 2nd of 2023 for Gemini. All right, let's see. Fox, cunning. I've just been in a really nostalgic mood because I'm seeing old music videos in my head and I'm hearing Chicken Noodle Soup, that song by Little Mama. I'm Yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of like throwbacks, Crow Sovereignty. So I don't know if people are feeling nostalgic at this time for like childhood memories and things like that. Moments of like when you felt good as a kid, mole, superstition, or on a swan fidelity. I feel like someone's trying to be nosy about your love life. <laughs> yeah, with mole superstition, I feel like someone's, yeah, someone's being nosy, snooping around in your business. With crow sovereignty, I feel like you're in a space of, whether you're in a relationship or not, your relationship with yourself is solid. I feel like you're in a place of standing in your own personal power, right? And if you're in a relationship, I feel like your relationship is solid. But I feel like there's someone here who's being sneaky, trying to see like what you got going on in your life, whether you're in a relationship or not. Maybe they want to know if you're in a relationship or not. All right, for Gemini. It's 48 hours for Gemini. June 1st to the 2nd of 2023 for Gemini. Be mindful of leaving your phone unlocked around this person. All right, we have the Eight of Cups walking away from someone emotionally, maybe physically too. I feel like you're not around this person at all. Three of Swords, yeah, it's emotionally. You're walking away from a heartbreaking situation or it may hurt to walk away, but I feel like you're doing so. I feel like you had to to regain your power in a situation with crow sovereignty the star aquarius healing at this time that's beautiful gemini congratulations i feel like you made a major growth like a major step in your healing and growth here with the eight of cups yeah i feel like you walked away from someone emotionally or situation emotionally you stepped away from this and it hurt but you you're healing you or you made a significant point in healing with the star i see like a total recovery from a situation yeah nine of cups wish fulfillment you may have thought this was wish fulfillment at one point but i feel like your sense of wish fulfillment has upgraded overall energy is judgment yeah you made the final judgment call on the situation you're like i'm done and you're like, I'm, I'm walking away emotionally. And I see, yeah, a total healing and recovery. So congratulations, Gemini. I love that for you. Let's clarify. Yeah, because judgment is like an awakening. The star is healing. Um, oh, I love this so much for you. Yeah, maybe someone trying to see if you're like if you've moved on or if you're over them. Clarifying the eight of cups is the hangman. Yeah, seeing both sides of a situation and gaining enlightenment. I feel like you put yourself in this person's shoes and you're like, um, would I do that? Or would I see, you know, would I treat someone that way? Or what would you do if you were in their shoes? And you're and that helped you see things clearly. The hangman Pisces, you're like, no, I would never do that to someone I care about. So you're you're realizing on some level this person did not care about you the way you cared about them two swords until you're walking away because I feel like you were holding on to someone because they kept telling you that they cared or that they love you or this or that or they just kept spoon feeding you things to make you stay but you realize like you know what no I want better this is not what I want and you're moving on clarifying the three of swords is the two of pentacles and yeah things had to be balanced out because it was heartbreaking to leave this person behind but yeah you found your strength in a situation Leo Clarifying the stars, the seven of wands, and now you're standing your ground. Yeah, and that's that crow sovereignty, your personal power. And you gain that from leaving this situation. And now you're standing in your power. Nine of pentacles, single, solid, stable, abundant, financially independent energy. I love that. Right beside strength. Could be dealing with the Virgo or have it highly aspected. Yeah, you're in your power. You are in your power. Okay. <laughs> You are. I love to see that with the star clarified by the seven of wands and the knight of pentacles. Ah, 
clarifying nine of cups, which you're feeling is the three of pentacles and everything's going to work out for you. Everything is working out for you. Tower. So you're going to have a shocking like blessing coming towards you because the tower, Aries energy is clarifying the nine of cups. So all of a sudden, some type of wish fulfillment is coming towards you. It could be in the form of friendship. I feel like it could be a friend turned lover with swan fidelity here. But it's like out of nowhere, some shocking like relationship comes into your life. I feel like it starts off as friendship and it leads to something more here with swan fidelity or just the eight of swords. Yeah, so this is like um something just kept replaying in your mind. You kept replaying a situation in your mind, even if you weren't around it or that person was not in your life anymore. You just kept repeating it in your head until you're like, I'm done. Yeah, so you're walking away from something that just kept repeating in your life and in your mind. You're walking away from it finally, mentally and emotionally. And that's allowed you major healing. You're like, I'm not going to keep repeating this, whether it be physically, mentally, or emotionally. You decided you were done. And it may have taken some time for this heartbreak to balance out, but you found your strength and you found your healing and you're standing your ground. You have clear boundaries that can't be moved with that seven of wands. I feel like, yeah, you're making a major comeback. That star in Seven of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is a crazy comeback from this type of energy. And I feel like that's why people around you or this person is so shocked. I feel like this person's shocked more so than you are. I feel like you're about to be shocked by this blessing, this wish fulfillment that comes towards you. But this person is very shocked by your recovery as well. Yeah, I want to read, um, hmm. I think I'm going to read Mole Superstition. No, let's read Crow Sovereignty. I'm going to read both, but let me read Crow Sovereignty. Time to reclaim your strength and power. Balance the light by embracing your shadow side. And I feel like that's the, the thing you had to do with that Three of Swords and the uh, Two of Pentacles. You had to balance the light by embracing your shadow side. And the Two of Pentacles is balanced. And you found your strength there with the Strength card. Now you have the Star because you did the healing. Crow highlights the path you are to take. A death or ending of the old is imminent. Release the past and move on. And I feel like that is what you are doing or you're making a major growth progress choice in that in the next 48. All right. And let's read Mole Superstition. I just feel like someone wants to really see if you're over it or they're like, you're not over it or you, um, you must be dating someone else or have someone else in order for you to be able to walk away from this. But I see that Regardless of if you're in a relationship or not, you did this all by yourself without the influence or input of anyone else with that Nine of Pentacles. That's like independence. All right, mole superstition. Stand up for what you truly believe in. So don't allow someone else to tell you whether or not you're over something. You have that choice. Don't, tell, don't allow anyone else to speak anything over your life. It's your choice of whether you're going to walk away or it's your decision if you decide, yeah, I'm over this or I'm walking away or I forgive this person or I'm moving on or I let this go. You have the final say because if you keep putting the power, your power in someone else's hands, they will always hold on to it. They will never <laughs> release you. OK, especially not this person. All right. Seek out facts to back a claim. Don't be too quick to judge. There is more to a person than meets the eye. Learn about your faith, whatever it may be, and the belief of others. Seek out what you have in common rather than that which divides you. So I do see a new friendship or relationship of any kind coming into your life. And I feel like that's what you wish for because of the three pentacles I usually see it's friendship. And I feel like that's what you want. And I see like compatibility with this new person. All right. So for Gemini. Or these new people, because I see more than one person coming into your life for Gemini. All right, seeking answers, seeing clearly, paying attention. That clarity to walk away here with the hangman. Realizing that holding on to something or someone, whether that be physically, mentally, or emotionally, is what's blocking you. And you had to make the clear decision, like, you know what, I'm letting it go, I'm moving on. I'm not checking their social media, I'm not checking in with them, I'm not doing any of that, I'm just, I'm done. Creature's Paw, the other friendship forgiveness. Because I was seeing that at some level, someone here is forgiving someone. I don't see, for some of you, for a small percentage of you, you could reconcile with someone. 
Because I do see with the Three of Pentacles, you wanting to work something out with someone. But if you see clearly that this person has no intention of changing or has not, you know, changed at all. Yes, with Fox Cunning, I don't think you can trust this person. Because Fox Cunning is about someone being sneaky or trying to deceive you. So I feel like you're seeing clearly that this person is not going to change and they do not have your best interest at heart. And you can forgive this person, but I see you walking away. You And forgiveness is a choice and it's up to you when you decide to do it. Everyone is at their own stage and pace. No need to rush. Take time with yourself, okay? But I do see someone here is choosing to forgive someone and take their power back doll illusion old wounds childhood and i feel like that's um the core of the situation regardless of it's a friendship from the present i feel like not only are you forgiving this person but you're forgiving any illusions that this person tried to place on you and healing any old wounds from childhood as well i feel like someone here is dealing with some deep healing and then overall energy is peacock splendor the divine craving and i feel like you feel great after this I feel like someone has made some tremendous like steps in their own healing and growth. And I feel like the universe is repaying you because this is like Empress energy, a blessing coming from the universe. Like with that tower clarifying the nine of cups, a wish fulfillment. A surprise shocking one or a surprise shocking revelation that brings you freedom and clarity from illusions, from the past, from old wounds. All right, for Gemini, I love this for you. This is major healing energy, and I love that for you, for Gemini. Major progress, standing in your power, which, so this is like the magician energy, which is you, Gemini, and Virgo energy, Mercury energy, manifesting with which. All right, December, the month of December could be significant. Night, change. Clean, yes, clearing out energy. So you could be doing something at night um, to clear out your energy, maybe some like moons, which rituals or spells or releasing at night and making room for change, major change here. All right, let me get you two more for Gemini. That was way more than two. Yeah, so I feel like you're coming to a point in your life either you're clearing out repeating cycles with repeat and DMs. So someone could direct a message you because I wrote this in regards to direct messages on social media. It could be a text, though. But someone's going to try to message you. It's someone from your past. And it's about whether or not you want to repeat a cycle. They're not saying, do you want to repeat a cycle with me? But it's like, you know, when you're ready to move on or when you reach a pivotal point of healing, the universe, God, whoever you believe in, whoever you believe in comes in to test you. Like, are you really over? Are you really ready to move on? And you can either show the universe that you want to repeat this cycle by engaging these people or that you don't want to repeat it and move on. And sometimes the cycle can repeat with the new people that remind you of the past, like engaging in relationships, whether it's platonic or not, knowing that this person's not for you. All right, we have down, romance, ex, <laughs> cheater, break. All right, so this could be ex family member, friend, lover. You know, we have swan fidelity, we have romance here. So I'm seeing that as a relationship, someone you were dating, right? Um, this person, especially if they're a cheater, I mean, come on. Do you want to make a clean break and just completely cut this person off? And yeah, for change, decide now what you want. All right. The moment you decide this person or people may try to come back into your life and you will know exactly what you need to do if you want change. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.